was hacked. Yep, your boy was hacked. At 11.56 p.m., I received the first message from Facebook saying that my account was accessed from China. But my phone was in sleep mode and I was getting ready for bed. A few minutes later, the password was changed. I was in bed. A short while afterwards, a new email address was added to the account and mine was removed. Your boy was fast asleep. In the morning, I was greeted with a message from Facebook telling me that my account was hacked. Thanks, Facebook. So first, someone tried breaking into my house, and next, my Facebook account was hacked. Do you guys know how vulnerable that makes a person feel? You feel naked. It took time for the hackers to gain full control, so if I'd gotten to the messages sooner, I had a reasonable chance to stop them. If I receive messages similar to the ones Facebook sent me, I want to be alerted immediately. Let's create an automation for that. Okay, so I thought this was gonna be an easy task. It's not. I've been looking for hours trying to find something that would allow me to connect to my Gmail account. And then whenever I get an email, allow me to see the email, kind of check its title, body, so on and so forth. Can't find anything. I also thought of using if this, then that, but none of the solutions I'm seeing out here is working for what I want. I did, however, find something that allows me to build it myself, but I'm sure there has to be something out there, but I just can't seem to find it. Correction. Turns out there's an integration called IMAP. And according to the documentation, it does exactly what I'm looking for. Whenever an email comes through, it would trigger an event where I can read the email content as well as the title. But of course, things never really go as smoothly as the way I expect it. So I'm sure I need to test this out. At least now I can get started with building the automation. So after installing the IMAP integration, I can use the generated events as a trigger. Based on the docs, I need to filter for the IMAP content event. So I think I'll use the event node to capture this event and the debug node to test if it works. I can send an email to myself from a different account and check the console to see what information is returned. All I need is the title or the body of the email. Great, looks like I get both. Okay, so let me think. There are two ways I can go about this. I can create an automation that reads the body and looks for specific phrases like password or account. And the pros of this is that it's going to be fast and the information stays local, which is good. The issue is that so I can miss emails if my phrasing is too strict, but I can get a lot of false positive if my phrasing is too loose as well. So. Ugh. The other method would be to use GPT. I can send data directly to GPT and ask it if the data indicates that my account has been accessed or if the password or email has been changed. And the pro to this is that I don't really have to think about the filters. GPT should be able to decipher this information based off of my instructions. Now, I know that's not gonna be perfect, but I don't think it has to be. Now, the downside to this is that it's gonna get really expensive because I get a lot of spam emails. But technically even more concerning is that GPT will be able to see my confidential information since it has to read all of my emails. Okay, so I think to mitigate these two concerns, I'll only send it the title of the email. Typically, the title of emails don't contain confidential information, and titles have significantly less tokens than the body. A better solution would be to use like a local LLM, but that's not an option at the moment. Okay, so it seems like I have two versions of this automation. One version would read the entire email body locally, but relies on my filtering to determine if there's a threat. The other will use GPT, but it's only going to read the title and it has significantly less information to work off of, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. 
I think I have some ideas on how to improve this, but for now, I think this is a good MVP. Now I need to determine how I should get alerted if either automation fires. Off rip, I know I'm gonna be sending a message to the Telegram app K users. This will primarily be for logging purposes and to get my attention during the day, but this hack took place while I was sleeping, so I'm gonna need some. People's automation ideas. I like listening to other people's automation ideas. Originally, I was gonna send a text to speech to the Google display in my bedroom, but as I was making the automation, I could feel my wife's disappointment. But to solve this, I was just gonna use body hacking and let my contempt for heat wake me up. I hate sleeping in heat. But then I saw a video from Shane Watley. Critical notification. Bro, I didn't know automations could do that. Sure enough, I found out that Home Assistant can do this too. Now my final automation looks like this. Why hello there. Are you enjoying this video as much as I did making it? Well, if you are, I would really appreciate if you can hit the subscribe button and perhaps press the like button while you're at it. That'd be much appreciated. I read a lot of your comments and a lot of you are saying how you enjoy the production value of this. And if I have a team, I don't have a team. It's just me. The interactions that you guys have with this video, like subscribing, liking, commenting, helps me to know that I'm on the right track and that I'm creating content that you guys enjoy. If you feel even more inclined, uh, I do have a Buy Me Coffee link down in the description. No pressure. This is just if you want to show some extra love and support for this channel. Let's get back to it. Remember when I mentioned that there's room for improvement? Well, I'm combining both automations. Whenever I receive an email, Home Assistant will trigger an automation that reads the email locally using option one. Now, this node is gonna be loosely defined, so that way it may contain some false positives, but that's okay. The next step is using option two to utilize GPT to reconfirm whether or not our suspicions are correct. If the email is confirmed by both option one and two, Home Assistant will send a message through K, and if it's after bedtime, the lights will turn violet, and it's gonna send a critical message to our phone. I asked you, the enthusiast, what automations you would create to help you if you were being hacked, and here are some of your answers. Matthew gave a list of tips and best practices that are generally good to follow. Uh, to my understanding, none of these tips lend itself to an automation per se, but the third option did catch my eye. I'll probably talk about this a little bit more shortly. The Tech Dude 6 mentioned utilizing a trusted devices list, and then based off of some type of event, an automation can trigger if the device is not a part of that list. This comment also mentions a way for the automation to log devices off the account in an event that this happens, and this is the same premise that caught my eye in the previous comment. Lucid Enemy was the clearest in explaining this trend that I've been noticing, and the comment mentions a disavow link that would revert any account level changes a hacker may perform. Okay, so first of all, thank you for your feedback. It was great reading through your comments. This has given me an idea. Between all of your comments, it makes me feel as though companies should adopt a new protocol where when they send their courtesy emails that tells you, hey, we think there's suspicious activity, supply like a lockdown link or a disavow link as Lucid Enemy mentioned and once click, it will simply lock down your account, kick everyone out. Once you log back in, force you to answer security questions. This would be a one-time link and be time sensitive. So, you know, it won't work after a certain period of time, but at least it gives people a fighting chance to like reclaim their account. And it would work well with this type of automation that I created. We could just call that link and automate the whole lockdown process. The point of the automation I made and the questions I gave is simply to push out new ideas and explore untouched territory. I don't believe that these automations or the things that I create is an actual substitute for proper security practices, VPNs, or any preventative measures, but it is fun exploring how smart homes can keep you safe in less obvious ways.